Hi everyone, it's Gail and it's Mixed Media Monday and we are going to do some of these tracing paper strips so that I have some bee sort of decorations to use in the bee journals. So let's say hi and hugs first. Hi and hugs to Siri, Josephine, Joy, and Gloria. Thank you so much for watching and for your kind comments. Okay, I should tell you too that my friend Emily is here. So if you hear some, if you hear something weird, it's just her, her working upstairs. So we've got tracing paper strips. Um, I think this is a three inch one. I really think I like mostly three inch ones. Is this a three inch one? Yeah. I'd like, I'd like to do a couple. I'd like to do one this way and then one horizontally, but we'll see where we get to. But I think I'll kind of do them in a mass way. That's what we'll do. Okay, I'm gonna set these aside for the moment. And then this is deli paper, like they wrap your sandwich in at, at a restaurant. And this is gonna be our images. And I'm gonna get those stamped first, I think, so that they can dry well before we use them on the tracing paper. So that's what we've got going. I'm gonna use my, my little pad for stamping here. And I have my, I have two B stamps. I also have um, this clock that has a little B on it. So that's what I'm gonna use. I'm just gonna stamp a bunch of those here real quick. And that way, that way we'll have plenty of drying time so that they don't smear anything. Okay, that should be enough. Okay, let's do the little one. Just a different look. Okay, there's that one. Okay, and let's do the clock. I don't know if it's sticky enough to stick here. Oh, I guess it is, good. Okay. Nope, <laughs> it's really not. <laughs> okay, well, <laughs> let's see what we can do anyway. I should probably just wipe that off a little and then I think it would stick, but I'm not patient enough. I'm just gonna go for it. Probably get myself all inky, which I usually do. I've got more stamps over there if we need, <coughs> excuse me, um, more variety or something. Sorry for the sneezes. It just happens every single video. You know it's going to happen. Okay. There we go. Ah, well, goobered that one up. Let's do one more just because just I messed that one up. Oh, my gosh, Gail. Okay, that's all right. We'll just leave it. Okay, so we're basically, we're basically done with those. Oh, see, look at that. I just goobered that one up. Okay, I'm just going to set this aside to dry because it definitely needs to. Okay, get rid of the black ink, which is so good and so messy all at the same time. Okay. 
done with the black. Okay, so what I did is I went in my drawer. I had all these, all these different inks that um, I got at estate sales. And I'm like, I don't even know if these work. So in the effort to, you know, kind of work on my craft room a little, I'm going to see if these work. And if they don't, they're going in the garbage. So there's that. Okay, let's, let's try this green one. Just don't even know. Oh yeah, I think it's gonna work. Yeah, it's just a very light green. I like it. I don't even know if you can see that on, on camera, but that worked. Okay, cool. Um, this. Okay, so the green works. We know that. That's good. I'm going to set set it aside but we know it works here's orange I was kind of I was going for B-ish colors <laughs> let's see oh my gosh I think that one's gonna work too hmm. good deal oh yeah let it dry for a little bit and we'll see if the other ones work okay well I'm not unhoarding very much am I because everything's still working <laughs> okay let's see all right so there's that one um I've got a gold and a kind of a copper that I thought would be kind of neat too on that on this let's see Oop. Mm, I don't know just gonna try it yep that one's dead okay and like I say I got these like for 10 cents at a estate sale I'm not gonna feel bad about tossing it Let's see about this one. Ooh, that's spongy. Oh yeah, that one's gonna work, I think. Super light, but shimmery. I like that part of it. So let's just put some shimmer on here. Okay, um, this one is okay, it's not great. That one's borderline keep it or not. I'll consider that. Okay, and then this one, close to my heart, I forget how to open these. Do you guys know? <laughs> oh, do I slide? Oh, there we go. Whew. Okay. Let's do another. This one sort of looks like the bee's path as it's... Let's see. I don't think it's... Nope, that one's dead. Okay. So, um, let's use this one, I guess. Might, might have to go back and put a little green on it, too, since uh, that is so, it's very 
light. But see, is that kind of fun? Okay, did that. Now let's get a little green. Um, maybe I'll just kind of put it on the edge of those shimmers or something. I don't know. Okay, so stamp that off a bit. So I think we're we're done for the moment with those. All right. Okay, so we're done stamping for the moment. Let's do this one. Is that dry? Pretty dry. Okay, so we're gonna put, we're gonna collage this a little bit, is what's gonna happen. Um, I've got some yellow here on this little piece of paper. I think I want some, I want some um, music. And um, when if you've seen me do these before, I kind of like to do it in three sections. And that will work great to decorate, for instance, these tags. So, um, yeah, I kind of try and go in threes. Okay, let's see here. Decide if I want the yellow paper down first or the music down first, but I might go both ways with it. I do need to get the uh, get the edges off this. Oh, and I should say thank you so much to those of you who suggested I was having trouble with my long stamps suggested using my ruler. Genius. That was, why didn't I think of that moment? For sure. So that was a great idea. Barbara, I know you did. And then there were a couple others. Barbara's was the first one I read. And I'm like, hello. Perfect idea. Yes. So anyways. That was a why didn't I think of that? So I could put that like right there. I'm gonna try to use pieces that have a bit of yellow in them. there and and I'm going to put a bit up here too. Okay. So there's my they're sort of my three sections, if you will. That's upside down, but I don't care. Okay, so now we're just going to put these on. Upside down. <laughs> Sorry if that was off camera, but... 
that's long enough. Yeah, that, that stamping is not quite dry on the background there, but that's okay. We'll just put this over the top. All the way down like that okay so now I want some music I want the music I don't want the white all right being super quiet I don't know why don't have much to say well we got our very last blind in today so that was exciting except then I had to pay the bill which was not exciting <laughs> but it's done now so that little project's done always feels good to have a little I think I'm going to put that there. Might put that desk down at the bottom. I don't know. Just play with it. Just see what, what makes you happy. Put that there. And, okay, so that's on there. Then we are going to put, um, one of these, hopefully they're dry by now. Okay, so where's the one I goobered up? It's still a little mushy. Maybe I should use my dryer on them, I guess, so it's on my floor, so I kind of have to get it plugged in here. Okay, yeah, let's use a little bit of this, see if we can get it to dry better. I really love that ink pad, but takes forever to dry especially on paper that's going to be a bit shiny I'm going to hope those are dry enough. And I'll just tear these three out. Eek. I'm going to put in the middle. Yep. I don't know. I guess I shouldn't use it for this particular project. do this so that I don't 
get it all over my hands theoretically. Yeah, that, that ink is not great for this. I need to use my archival. So we might stamp a few more in archival just to make my life easier because there's no sense in struggling, you know, when you have another option. But we're getting her done. Okay, let's go put him right there. Okay. That was harder than it needed to be. Let's, I'm gonna grab this and we're gonna stamp some with, just with archival so that it's not so difficult. And those are just fine. Those will be easier next time. And I'll just leave these to dry for like, I don't know, three days. <laughs> these will be good for our next one. Okay. Okay, so now... I want to put like some little labels or something. What do I have in here? Yeah, like little numbers would be good. Like that. I think I'm going to. Give it a little edge. And then, what else? Here's a big number. That's good, except that it's a little, it's got a little more paper around it than it needs, I think. All right. get just a teeny weeny bit off of that okay these little labels all of these are made from 
strips like this that I take off of something and I just put them in my basket here of and then those strips I'll just like while I'm watching TV or something take my stamps and just stamp a bunch and it makes your own labels super fun want you I think I want you over here okay so now just to kind of bring it all together I am gonna grab did I grab it already I did my coffee and my splatter stamp here We're gonna, <coughs> excuse me. We're just going to stamp over the top and kind of just kind of bring it all together with this. I don't even know if you'll be able to see that on camera. I'll hold it up here in a second. Maybe with some white behind it, so. Yeah, that just, it just pulls all the pieces, all the separate pieces kind of together is what happens. might go over the clock. Yeah. So, there we go. Can you see the splatters? Oh, I guess you can, kind of on there. Okay, so that kind of brings it together. I am gonna go ahead and real quick like, we are going to use these on these tags just so you can see how they're used if you haven't um, seen this before. one might might go on one of those maybe this away yeah okay I think this one okay these have um, ink or ink wax on them and so I'm gonna have to make sure that they're very well um, very well glued down. I'm kind of looking at this going, how do I want to do this? Maybe we'll just go about there and go about there. Gosh, there's so many shinies. I can't see what I'm doing. Okay. This one's going to need to be a little bit shorter. So that one's going to go on there. Love that. This one is going to go on this one, but it's going to need to be cut down a little bit. And then we'll cut it right down below this music. Yeah, 
that's going to be just right. Okay, I need this. I think I'm going to need my, my smoother outer. Let's get rid of this for the moment. Okay. Just going to use my glue page so that in an attempt not to get glue everywhere on my mat, even though it's per I think that ship has sailed, if you will. <laughs> okay. And then I will put these either under my mat or under a stack of books to to really settle in and dry smoothly. Yeah, we'll see how this is going to work on the on the wax. I really like how the tags turning out though. <laughs> Thank goodness that our glitter glue dries pretty fast. Okay, let me... Oh, wait a second. That's what I did. I got these mixed up. This one's supposed to have the pin, this one not. Put the scale. Okay, so now I've got a little edge here that I'm going to cut off. Like that. Um, and I've got quite a bit of room there, so I think I'm going to use this punch. little give it something around the edges and there is that one aren't those fun okay let's do let's do the other two and then we'll at least start on another strip okay um this one I want that. I don't need that. Need this. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's not happy because it had the wrong top on it. I was so tired yesterday from not sleeping the night before. I am not surprised. Wonder what else I did that was goofy. Yeah, it was a rough one, but last night I slept better, so <laughs> I'm feeling like I have my faculties about me now. Let's see. It's going to go right there. Okay. You can just barely see the green, barely see the orange, and it's, it looks pretty neat. When I got on there better, I'm, I'm not hanging over the edge. So then let's do this on this one too. Since I have multiple bee journals, I, you know, I don't have to worry about having ones that look alike in the same journal. These will be spread out in the journal. So there's there's that one. And I just I just love how these how these end up looking. I just think they're really fun. Um I should say, yep, let's do that that way. Perfect. Okay. Um 
I believe I first saw this little tracing paper strip, I think, on Roxy Creations. I think it was one of the original year that she did um, the Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I think it was one of those. Or else it was just one of her regular videos. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure that's where I first saw this. And I have... I have embraced it and used it a lot. I just, I think it's a really cool technique. And I just, I just think the pieces end up looking so neat. Okay. Little different, little journal card. Got a little uh, hanging over the edge. Card might not be quite three inches. Okay. And let's around the edges a little bit. It going around the edges also tends to kind of pull it together more too. So here is what we what we got. Oops. Am I out of focus? Maybe it's my glasses. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> there's what we got. So I am going to put these under my mat here just to, just so that they dry flat. Oh, look, I have more uh, things under here that need sewing. <laughs> it's always a surprise. Yeah, these just are journal cards that just need to be sewn. Okay, I can do that. Uh, let's see. What else? Where are we at time-wise? Okay, we've got about 15 minutes. Let's start on this one at least. Um, this one I want to have go this way. Oh, look, I got, I put this on the top of those first bees that I did and it got black ink on the back. It's crazy. That's all right. We'll cover it up probably. Okay, so let's do this one the other, the horizontal way. And that's a bit too much. But I like that for like that for the middle. Where's my... Okay, get rid of this. This needs to have a little slit on. That glue I don't need just now. And cut... So going this way, then, yeah, it's it's more of a, a journal card sort of, sort of thing. Okay. That can go there. Um... This one, maybe I'll cover up that black with that. This one will go more quickly because I don't have to worry about getting black all over myself. Okay, so there's that one. Another little piece that we have. Mm. Go there. I think I'll put down some music though. Yeah, okay, let's just put that there. Okay. And then we'll put the yellow on top of this one. Like that. Okay, then we're going to put music on top of these two. Just kind of a, a formula that I feel like works for me. 
as far as decorative paper and then either music or book page. Okay, and then over here, I'll just put this little piece. Okay, so we did that. Now we've got these. Let's see, this works a lot better. Yeah. Okay, I need to remember that, not to use the VersaFine for this project, use the archival. This is a lot quicker when you can just put your hand right on the stamped image. <laughs> okay, put you there. And a clock. down and we'll find ourselves a label of some sort that might need something more down there I'm feeling like but labels. Maybe we could use one of those big numbers. There's a pretty big one. I feel like I need something else. So the formula I'm using, you know, you can stick with it or not. I mean, you can you can add more if need be. Like this, I feel like needs something at the bottom of the of here. So I think I'm going to put that there, and then I'll put I'll get the numbers situated. this down a bit. Oops. Okay. Good enough. And then I'm just going to distress the edges of this. You could distress all of your collage pieces too if you wanted to. But that, that takes time, and I didn't want to do it for the video, but, but you can, and that looks really neat, too. Okay, I'm liking that better, so that'll be like that. Okay, another something for over here. Um... I do that. 
the um, the digital kit from Tuke's Craft Table it has some pink in it, so. Okay, and then this one. Oh, how about this? Yep. Okay. Put that on there and then We'll see what we might have for those to go on. Probably it's going to be stuff in my to-do box, though, I'm guessing. Okay, so there's this one that can go on here. Yeah, that one will be good for there. And then these two... We're going to need, this one's going to need something a little bigger. I can always cut a little bit of that off. But this one's super cute, too. I really like that one, too. I think I want to put that on there. How are we doing time-wise? Okay, we're good. Let's put this one on. And then I might have to... Think about what we have to do the other ones with. The one needs a pretty big journal card. Okay, might have to trim the corners off a little bit. that one. Oh, you know what? I forgot. Yes, you were telling me. I know, I know, I know. I forgot this, didn't I? Yep, you were telling me. But look, we can fix it now. <laughs> Looked a little too pristine. I was like, I'm missing something. Okay. So let's trim that up a little bit. Okay. A little corner here too. There we go. There's that one. I love that. Love that. Okay, you're going under the desk, Matt. Okay, so we need to we need to do our stamping on this. I think that blue page has lived its life. Better do this too. Boy, that just does. It just brings it together. Crazy the difference that it makes. Okay, cool. Then this one. Okay. Alrighty, so those are done. Um, let's see, I think we have enough time to see if we have something they could 
go on, um, oh, yeah, right here. I was just wondering about this. There's something in here. I'm already thinking this one might be nice, like right here. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Just add a little something to that. Let's see, I want a glue page. Well, I'm pleased we got two done and basically the ephemera made two, which is awesome. So, So I'm just going to put that right there. And that just bees that up a little bit. That's a little um, pocket to go around the edge of a page. Oh, love that. Okay, cool. So there's that one. Go under the mat. This one is going to be tricky because it needs something, it needs something bigger. I don't know if it, there's anything in this stuff that could go on. Since it's sideways, it just needs something a little bit bigger. Okay, nothing in there. Let's grab grab my one to do box here I don't know if there's something in there that it will go with I was wondering about it's a bit too wide for that I don't know that there's anything No. Mm. I think that might go there. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, need to tear it off a bit though. It's kind of go right up to the print there. Gonna fit? Nope, not quite. There we go. Okay. Get that on there, and then we will call it a day. So if you haven't tried these little tracing paper strips, I really encourage you to try them because they're just so fun. Work with any sort of, um, any sort of theme or whatever. You can just make it match whatever you want. And doesn't that just add so much? I just think it's awesome. Okay, so we'll take a look back at what we did kind of, and, um, and then I'll let you go. So you're not gonna miss anything but a little preview or review of what, we're, what we've got here. Okay, so there's that one. That's going to go over a page. It's going to need something here, too. So I'll work on that, but I love that.
That's really fun. Am I out of focus? I feel like I am. Hmm. Anyway, there's that one. <laughs> and this one. Little journal card pocket. Another another journal card. And a tag and a tag. So there you have it. The little tracing paper strips. Always fun. So thanks for joining me today. I hope you have a grateful day. Be kind always and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.